Hey Jay everybody, welcome to the Pizza Tower comments video where you guys provide the comments, we provide the commentary. It's the... commentception. Here we go. Ocean Divinity, I feel like this video is scented. I can literally smell pizza coming from this video. Okay. If you are smelling pizza right now and there is not a pizza in the room with you, if you smell that pizza might be a sign of a stroke yeah, or something. If you smell pizza for four or more hours, consult your doctor. <laughs> but when you guys watch the video, do you smell pizza? Because I smell pizza because there was like so much pizza on that like set. Like trauma? It's like This like must a be just a certain type of personality because I don't really smell anything when I watch anything. I was there on set and I had a red honky nose. <laughs> red honky nose. Hey, oh, red honky nose. Am I allowed to say that? I don't think it smelled like pizza in that room. I don't think it did. You don't think it smelled like pizza in there, right? I don't think it did. I'm gonna blame the nose and the mustache because I remember it smelling like so much pizza. Mustaches don't just bark your nose. Aren't, aren't People those... with mustaches can breathe. Did you know that? Aren't those boss characters <laughs> from the game, the nose and the mustache? <laughs> <laughs> Next comment is from a box of hobo. Not a box of pizza. Don't, don't box a with box a hobo. Like... A hobo. The Italian god of death is the greatest thing I've ever heard in my life. I think this song is really underrated for the number of cool phrases that you managed to work into this. The Italian god of death. Is there a- um, Is there an actual Italian god of death? The closest we can come up with is, I assume, the Roman god of okay, death. Okay, yeah, so, so yes, there is a Roman god of death. I assume in Greek it's Hades. Or no, uh, he's of the underworld. It's Thanatos. Thanos! He only became the Italian god of death after the previous god of death killed his family. And uh, it, it's like God of War, but with Pepino spaghetti. I would play that. From Danman36. By the way, I think you should have called this musical The Ballad of Pepino Spaghetti. I'm just saying. This is absolutely 100% a business move. I think, I think narratively and artistically, we agree. That is just, it is really just a song about Pepino spaghetti and not really anybody else in Pizza Tower. Why is Pizza Head? It's about yeah, him. but I just doesn't fit with ballad for me. Ballads yeah. are like okay. somebody on like a twangy guitar being like, Papino Spaghetti <laughs> came in the town. Did you guys listen to that? <laughs> like that kind of stuff. Ah, a little country western song about Papino Spaghetti. A spaghetti western. Devin Gressy, Pepino looks like the villain. Pizza Face is just clumsy. I do think Pizza Face is, the, the, the crime he's most guilty of is incompetence. He's not so much villainous as he is stupid. <laughs> mm. And it's not a crime to be stupid. Oh boy, so, should it be. I don't think he was even trying to sabotage the business though. Like he mm. was trying to help make a pizza. He believed in himself a little too much. I think a nice meeting to HR might have been in order, yeah. yeah. You know, but Pepino, he took matters into his own hands and then into his own mouth. <laughs> I read all about how much you liked that scene. Funkin' X Vocaloid fan, I can only imagine the interaction between this version of Pepino and their version of Cooking Mama. You know, I thought Cooking Mama's life was bad enough as it was, but having her share a kitchen with Pepino spaghetti and watching this guy sneeze into his sauce and stuff, she would be oh. losing it. I think that Pepino and Mama would make an absolutely delicious pizza and run a fine business. They together would become an absolutely delicious <laughs> they... We're gonna cook them into a pizza? Maybe they're like a secret weird match made in heaven. It's Ooh. like just somehow their personalities mesh and they run a really good kitchen. It's like a Pixar I believe in movie. this. What if there's a rat hiding inside Pepino's spaghetti's hat? <clears throat> Except his hat gets taken off and there was no rat inside there. Uh... So proof Pepino spaghetti does all his own cooking Ratatouille is not part of it. His name's Remy. Well, there's a rat in the wall and his name was Rat. His name was Rat. <laughs> From Night of Farcronia? That escalated quickly. On a side note, does anyone else think that Nate was born to play Pepino? I was born, born to for play this. Pepino, yes. Yeah. No I, other reason, just that. I, his parents knew the dusty I guess I, 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 I'm out then, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> well, I quit. No, no, <clears throat> it's time for Pizza Tower 2. You have to continue uh -oh. to fulfill your destiny. Oh, how do you go past what already happened? Well, you put a rat in your hat this time. That's <laughs> what we already have. <laughs> a sequel to that movie could happen, but it's a crossover with Pizza Tower. Not a person, so an AI or an animal, perhaps. The amount of pizza they had to buy, though. That's some commitment to the musical. Yes, it was. All right, who's got the number? So we had a bunch of actual, like, cooked pizza 
Yeah. That was all from Little Caesars. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna say we got eight from we, them. We got a lot. Sounds about right. And I thought we bought another eight at some point. Caesars. We ordered plain cheese pizzas from Little Caesars, and for some reason, they put a single bell pepper on every single pizza. So that's like 16 pizzas accounted for. Yes. And then I believe we bought another like six or something. Um, that were like frozen to yes. chuck. So that puts us up to what, 22? Yes, and then we bought a bunch of pieces of pizza. Like yeah, crust, there were also like one or two uh, more like fat actual like ready to like just toss in the oven ones. Yes. About 30 pizzas that we had purchased. Some in pieces, some in the ingredients, and some completely fresh. Eat it right there and, and be done with it. Scratch bot. I feel extremely sorry for Pizza Head. He was just trying his best and ended up being eaten by some maniac chef. Happens to Not all of cool. us. Yeah, that's what happens if you don't do your job. You get eaten by the maniac chef. Yeah, I want you all to remember that when we work on the next musical. <gasps> oh no! We got some film shooting to be doing and I want to stay on schedule. If we fall behind, I'm not coming back for you guys except to eat your heads. No. That's what <laughs> Maniac Chef though sounds like the next game in like oh. horror trend of like oh. lunch lady and like Make evil grandma. Stop. Like Maniac <laughs> Chef. It's like a combination of like Happy's Humble Burger Farm and Mr. Meat and Don't take my ideas. Lunch Lady. <laughs> is, isn't there a lunch lady game? Haunted lunch lady there, or evil lunch lady? I don't think she's haunted or evil. She's, she's just, just a, lunch, a lunch lady. Aren't all lunch ladies haunted evil? Haunted and evil and undead, maybe. The other there says, at 2.36 you can see a rat from the game being sent flying. There he is. It's Ratatouille. I love how detailed and accurate this is. His name is no, Ratatouille. that one is Ratatouille. I named him my name. His name is Ratatouille. Uh, his name is like the Plague Rat. Uh, the plague rat. Was he the Plague Rat? It was, sure plague it was the Plague Rat. rat. Yeah, yeah, he was. I was like, we have the Creepy Rat and we have the Plague Rat. They're not the I same I have not rat. seen the Creepy Rat in a long time. The, the Creepy Rat, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> is in the cat's toy bin. Uh, what? So we have- He's here? He we might can go be. find we him? We can go check after this. <laughs> Creepy rat. I sat on your lap. He's right creepy, yeah. He, you know, he was riding a Mario Kart cart for a while. Yes. He's but really yeah, funny. his back is like very poorly Frankensteined back together. <laughs> he was the creepy Guess rat star. before he was Frankenstein, though, right? Like we just yeah. called him the creepy was, rat. You know, it's not very nice. Maybe he has a name. We keep calling now. It's be, Ratatouille. It's Ratatouille. <laughs> Rat <laughs> I suppose if he has a name, it's probably Ratatouille. Oh! Ah! Ah! BT6. Makes you sound like a droid from Star Wars. The first ad I got on this video was for Domino's Pizza. Not Little Caesars. Well, if you order from Little Caesars, I have plenty of experience, done it like 30 times in one video, and they all send you bell peppers, so. This is because Domino's needs to advertise because the pizza is <laughs> Shots fired! Ooh, ooh, we spicy. order from Domino's more than we order from Little Caesars. Because they're open until the midnight. Pizza. Little Caesars but closes at like pizza. 10. I don't get Domino's Pizza, I get other stuff from them. Do you get a pizza from Domino's? Do you get it? See? See? I don't either. I don't generally get the pizza. Doesn't happen. <laughs> TK9. TK9. What's up with these people that don't have actual names? So AJ, how did you feel about having to drop pizza in your pants and pick it back out of them? I Like, I've never died before, so it's not like I got, like, practice time. It didn't work nearly as well as I thought it would. I thought this was like, it would just be as simple as whoop, whoop, and just go right into your pants. Simple uh, geometry. But it was not at all. It was actually really difficult. We filmed all that on a Saturday night, woke up the next morning, and went to church on Sunday, where AJ proudly told at least everybody. three people. Everybody. Everybody. And tell everybody. That his underwear was pizza stained. I had pizza stained mm. underwear now. I also found pizza on my leg like the next morning in bed and was like ah! what oh. if you had found the pizza in your pants the next day at church and you had pulled out like mm. <laughs> <laughs> just to get out there snacking a mid-sermon snack Ugh. little little caesar's pizza is peak pizza to put in your pants uh. it's just greasy enough has just mm. enough lubrication to really fit into your pants just perfectly when that pizza hits your underwear it just sings ship's kiss that's right Layman Knight says, as a Canadian, I appreciate you letting a pineapple appear in this musical about pizza, but I feel like you're gonna start a war by doing that. Oh yeah, there's definitely a war, I okay. think, brewing. Okay, but show of hands, who eats pineapple on pizza here? 
He doesn't count because he doesn't eat anything on pizza. So. I'm not offended by the idea of putting it on pizza. I just don't put most aren't things pine- on my pizza. Aren't pineapples in the game? They are. Yeah, it's, so. it's game accurate. Which, we had a lot of game accurate things in here, and I know that's not a common belief. People were maybe expecting some sort of video where I climbed up a tower and fought a big nose and weird <laughs> and stuff like that. But oh, pepper man the references are there. Like, <sighs> we wouldn't have put a box of pizza that we jump into and then crash through a bunch of walls with a rat in them if we didn't know the game. We make musicals. So there's a story, and stories have purpose. They're not just the textbook of everything that happens in the game. All of you that complained, get used to it. Mizuki, don't tell me, guys, that I'm the only one who noticed that the clothes AJ is wearing is almost the same clothes as he's wearing in the Ice Cream Man and Ice Cream Fun musicals for Rod's costume. Even his bow tie, the gloves, the red circles on AJ's cheeks are the same. Coincidence? I think not. I have two things to say here. One, AJ didn't have red circles on his cheeks as Rod. He was wearing a giant Ice Cream That's Man That's not mask. AJ's face. But it has red cheeks. <laughs> it still. does have red cheeks. It does. And two, it it was literally the exact same time. <laughs> I got lazy. But we didn't design these characters. They do look That's that true. way. They are game accurate. Yeah. Yeah. So I do think it's really funny though, because they do look extremely similar, but Rod has a blue apron and he has blue overalls, but yeah. it still ends up being like the same shape yeah. on the character. Yeah. It's funny. They look a lot the same. They don't act the same, though. Let's just take a vote on it. Who likes Rod more and who likes Pizza Head more? Like, I want to watch him or I want to hang out with him? Uh, I would rather hang out with Rod than Pizza Head. Why? Explain. He, I... He's so incompetent. I would not be able to deal with him. He's wily. And I don't really like children that much, so Rod's uh, hobbies don't probably bother me. You can't say that on YouTube. Yes. And this is why he's born to play Pepino. I think Pizza Head's fun. I think he's got spirit. I think he's hanging a... out with him for a day would drive you absolutely insane. I hang out with people worse than Pizza Head for a day. I have YouTube. Uh... Mr. Miscellaneous, Nate, that's me. That's, that's me. You. That's you. Had an absolutely luxurious fall. I applaud. No cinematic movie or professional acting can top a fall like that. I give Nate's fall five bags of popcorn and three cans of soda. It's just an amazing fall. <laughs> the enthusiasm for watching you get hurt here is like, it's not lost it on me. It and hurt. <laughs> Except that's it's not the take used. we used. Yeah. It's, yeah. Been used that t- it's in the bloopers, but the bloopers got used. Yeah, like so. in the real video, I get hit and just like tumble back into the counter. Was it just the floor got so slippery from flour? It's all the yes. flour on the floor. Oh. I slipped. When you're younger, that kind of fall, you just like shake off and are like, yeah, whatever, I'll be fine. But like when you're when you're as old as we you are, your 30s. it's like the attempt on my life has <laughs> left me scarred and deformed. <laughs> Mysterious Mask Gamer says, you know he serves bad pizza when he has Pepsi products. Wrong. How are you so wrong? How did you get that so wrong? You actually flipped it backwards. Good pizza has Pepsi products. This, are you from Australia? Is everything backwards there? Is Coca-Cola serving Pepsi there? I don't know what's going on. Coca-Cola serving Pepsi there. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. He Get killed me. himself. Because <laughs> you're so wrong. Uh, I like Coke. I drink like... Coke products Coke all fine. the time. Yeah, Coke I like fine. it. But if I had to give up either Coke products or Pepsi products, I would give up Coke products. Especially with pizza. I'm like, pizza's junk food. And so it goes so well with like Mountain Dew, which for non-Americans that had no experience with Mountain Dew, because it's like banned in your countries because it is too good. This stuff is amazing. Pepsi products and pizza, I think just like, that is the sign that you're in for a really trashy, delicious meal. Nina Rose, you left the final comment. So much pizza was harmed in the making of this video. Yeah, it was. Well, pizza doesn't have feelings, so I don't care. Thank goodness. Otherwise, I think we'd be uh, committing war crimes of some sort in this video. I mean, Pizza Head had feelings. He definitely screamed when I ate him. Yeah, he felt it. But... (laughs) You know, he shouldn't uh, have been so delicious. I yeah, think, I, honestly, an entire order of pizza from Little Caesar went straight to the pizza The portal. box wasn't full. Like, we had, no. like, it was like a it half. Like towels. Yeah, we had, like, stuff to prop the pizza Padding. up. But yeah. it still was, like, half full. It's not the only thing that got harmed in this video, by the way. I, my kneecap did. <laughs> 
makes me captain. We threw out the rug that he uh, has in his pizza it restaurant. It had too much cheese on it. Yeah, I don't Musicals. recommend putting cheese in your rug. It's just... It doesn't come out very well. It doesn't come out well. Would you say the biggest threat facing pizza today is random encounters? The biggest threat facing pizza today is... The looming possibility of Pizza the Hut returning ah, for yes. Spaceballs 2, the search for more money. Because obviously that guy grows a little every year that he's not on screen. And I don't know what size he is now. He probably is Ghostbuster Marshmallow Puff Man sized. <laughs> Steve Puff Marshmallow Man? Yes. <laughs> Sliming his way through a city somewhere. There's no better way to lose our audience than to reference two <laughs> 80s movies in the same sentence. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like button, let YouTube know that we showed up, and hit the subscribe button, maybe even the bell, so you don't miss any of the uploads over here on RE Extra. And stay tuned because we're working on new musicals. We're literally filming them right down the hall. We'll see you next week with another video. Beard salute!